Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back. So today's video is another house renovation video for you. So I recently uploaded my kitchen tour um, and showed you all of that and now I'm uploading my dressing room tour which is the room that I'm in now. So it's my dressing room kind of stroke office. Um, yeah, I mean, as you will see in the video, it has taken me a long time to get to this point. Um, we got the keys for the house sort of mid-November and we're now end of March and it's still not even finished. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. And when I look back at the old footage of when we got the keys and everything and when we first started painting, I just can't believe it's come kind of that far. So yeah, so this is just me introducing it. So the first section of the video is gonna be sort of the before and doing all the painting and the sanding and everything like that. And then really annoyingly, I actually, well, my laptop broke. So I lost a lot of footage. So I kind of lost like a quite big chunk in the middle when it came to sort of um, getting the wardrobes in and decorating and like, as in with like little bits and furniture and stuff like that. So unfortunately there isn't really like a progress of that section, but obviously you do see the after at the end. So without further ado, I think we should just get into the first part of the video, which is all of the process of painting and everything like that. So I hope that you guys enjoy. So I just wanted to show you the before of this room. So we actually took the carpets up already. They used to be like a yellowy color. Um, so we've taken the carpets up. Um, so the floor is just bare floorboards at the moment. Here's the room. You have a nice cupboard there, which we're gonna leave and I'm gonna use my shoes and stuff. Um, and then yeah, it's literally, it's like got wallpaper on the walls at the moment, but um, we're just gonna paint over the wallpaper. So yeah, this is the room at the moment. It's got gorgeous high ceilings and lovely coving detail, like all original and stuff. Um, so this is the room here. Obviously you've got a big window there and then this whole area here. So this area is where I am, sorry, it's gonna go out of focus because there's literally nothing to focus on. There we go. This area is where I'm going to do um, the wardrobes like against that back wall and along there and i'm also going to put one in there um but yeah so this is the room at the moment and then this is the floor situation also um we uncovered this which uh, obviously some builders or whoever it was that did this wrote their names in it which is just brilliant um <laughs> i think i am maybe going to put some tiling down because i don't really, really know what else to do other than maybe putting a piece of furniture there as well that could be an option um so yeah, this is the paint that we've got, so let's get going. This is Farrow and Ball Webbit, but um, it's been mixed by B&Q, so it's like a bit cheaper. Um, so yeah. I just want to add in here that we both don't really know what we're doing. I painted a few walls before, but only with, like, with my mum when I was younger, I've so Cam's never, never picked up a paintbrush in his life, so yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Going down the 
still can't reach so um we need to get a ladder um to be honest we could go out and buy one in a bit from d and q maybe we should do that because even that ladder we actually no the ladder we got will be fine but should we go and buy one yeah um yeah i think we can go and buy a ladder to do those top bits yeah yeah um to do those top bits we've just ordered pizza so that is coming soon um i actually thought i clicked order ages ago and i looked and was like oh where's the pizza and i hadn't even clicked order so i was like but yeah, no, it's looking a lot brighter anyway, that's for sure, even it's though it's right. dark already. So yeah, um, I think I might paint the skirting boards gray, which I feel like people are gonna be like, what the hell, but I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of how I want it to look. And yeah, um, so I'll paint the skirting boards gray, the window frame, the door, and potentially this cupboard, because uh, we haven't touched that, because the paint we've got is only like emulsion for the walls. Um, so you've never painted before, did you enjoy it? Have you enjoyed your experience? No? Look at the state of me. Look at the state of me. So have you enjoyed it? No. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to day two of the um, dressing room decoration. I have some special guests, my mum just there, and Sam just here. Um, so we have done, well I say we, Sam has done a second coat on some of the walls here. Um, still going just over here. Um, what else have I done? Oh yeah, so I tested um gray for the skirting board this is lamp room gray it's only one coat of it which is why it looks um obviously it needs another coat uh, but this is where the wardrobes are going anyway so that's why i tested it there and then i also tested it a little bit on the window can't really see that because it's quite dark um but yeah i think i'm gonna so i think i'm gonna do the skirting boards and the door and everything in that lamp room gray so that's all going on and also let me show you we have hired a sander just from um it's called thanks mom sorry <laughs> it's called hss hire um, i think they have them all over the country so yeah just hired that it was about 30 pounds a day um so yeah we need to go around bang all the nails into the floor and then start sanding we actually decided to go with um variable floor paint someone told me to try boat paint but it's super expensive um and the floor paint, blah, blah, blah. someone told me that they've used a variable floor paint and it's been fine. So we have um, got these nail punches to punch the nails down because before you sand you need to do that because otherwise the sanding things will rip. So we've got them. We also need to get up some of the staples that are on the floor. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Be 
loosening this I don't know if anyone is going to find this interesting at all to be honest but you know if you want to sand the floor do you have to take you do it all the way sorry okay. yeah because you've got to remove the metal <coughs> thing I think you saw right through it all oh I could not think it no matter how I tried ooh you cured my aching heart Be over my troubles Yeah They've been there for so long now Ooh. Cause suddenly I think of tomorrow Yeah Since you came, came around And it was, things were flying everywhere. And Mum and Sam were just running around like headless chickens, like not turning the bloody flob off. Um, but I think we're gonna put it at night here, but done a pretty good job. So if you imagine, hang on, let me turn it around. This was what it was like before. And then we've sounded it back to the originals. So yeah, not bad, it's bloody dusty in here though. Hello my friends, welcome to day three. Three, can't get my hands right. Um, day three of, dressing room renovations slash decorations. So today it is 9 a.m. and I've just gone to Screwfix to pick up a hoover so we can hoover up all of the dust and stuff from the sander um, and then we're gonna apply the undercoat to the floor um, and then um, paint the floor. And then the IKEA furniture gets delivered tomorrow and the guy's coming to build it on Tuesday. So like, it's all go, very exciting. But since you came around I see it's tomorrow When you hear me calling oh, 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 it's you and me Okay, so I have decided that I don't like the colour on this wall um, I got it mixed up at B&Q So it's a fire and ball colour weather um, And I got it mixed up at B&Q um, and I just swear they've just like mixed it wrong because it's not the same colour. So I've checked it, the actual fur and wool weather outside, it looks totally different. Um, and I painted it before, and it's just got like this really weird shade of like lilac to it. So we're gonna repaint it, which is annoying, but we need to get it right now. So yeah. Look at all of the mess down here. So much stuff. Beep. So we're just starting with the undercoat now. Here goes. Be 
me over my troubles They've been there for so long now It's so, up, it's over Suddenly I think of tomorrow So the very last bit of the first undercoat is going on. Currently looks like this. Obviously just the first undercoat, we've got another four coats, so. Well, no, another three coats, so. Just doing this last bit now. Watch out, can you move that there? I'm a piece of the puzzle, it's quite satisfying really. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It looks so good. And the new wool colour. <laughs> this is just the first coat, but oh god, it looks so much better. I'm so happy. Sam, don't you dare. How Go on. Put it, do it. Don't you dare. Go on. <laughs> Would you just do it? Yeah. There we go, all done. So I am here on a Saturday and there are no tradesmen in, so obviously there's been tradesmen here all week, so this is kind of my only chance where I get to talk to you just like us, without other people around. I haven't vlogged for about a week, so there's been quite a lot of changes. One of them is that this is painted, but I'm so happy that I decided to do white walls and then a darker color on the woodwork. I'll just quickly show you because I can't resist. Um, so this color here is lamp room gray. This color is all white, uh, fire and ball colors. So yeah, I painted the, well, I didn't paint it. My painter and decorator painted the wardrobe and I did the skirting and then I did the door, which looks so good. So happy with it. Um, the window frames are done as well. So that's really, really good. So I ignore all of my stuff. Um, so obviously the skirting carries on here. So this is the radiator that needs to go on here. This is a bit of a mess. We had a bit of a problem. We had a leak, but it's okay. Um, we've managed to sort it out and obviously I can just repaint it and everything like that. Um, and then yeah, the radiator needs to go on the wall because we had a bit of an issue with the um, plaster was all crumbling. So it's all been kind of cemented up now. So I need to wait for that to dry and then they will put the radiator back on the wall. But yeah, I'll just show you the window frame a little bit here. So these are the valves that are going on the radiators. So the radiators are from Best Heating. Um, I can link them down below if you would like. Um, so yeah, that radiator needs to go on. It's just a column radiator. So unfortunately after this, I lost all of my footage. So I wasn't able to show the wardrobes being built or anything like that um, really, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, it's fine. I do have a uh, video on my page, which is an Ikea Pax wardrobe video. So it's all about my wardrobes and like all of the sort of questions that I had and stuff like that. So yeah, I will leave that link down below because in this next section, I don't really go into detail about the wardrobes. Um, I am gonna do an actual wardrobe tour as well. So that should be coming up quite soon. So yeah, this next section of the video is obviously the after. So I really hope that you enjoy it and you find it kind of, you know, inspiring if you want to do a sort of a room makeover or you're looking to organize a room like this or whatever it is. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy. So I'm going to show you around the room first and then I will talk through everything. So here we go.
will start at the very beginning. So as you walk straight in through the door, you have my dressing table. So if I just come over here so you can see a little bit better. So the dressing table itself is from Next. Um, I've had it ages. To be honest, um, I probably would like something a little bit more kind of delicate in here like a little bit smaller this is quite chunky um but it's fine for now like i don't plan on changing it anytime soon um because it like serves a purpose and everything it's a really really good dressing table it's got glass on the top so if it marks you can just wipe it off really really easily um and it's got loads of storage too so that's brilliant um and then my chair is actually a little project of mine um so i actually rescued this from the skip um someone was throwing it out uh so i painted it all and i reupholstered it well i didn't reupholster it someone reupholstered it for me i'll pop a picture on screen of what it looked like before um but i love this chair i love the kind of french kind of feel it gives to this room this room is definitely like an eclectic mix of loads of different styles and stuff but i feel like that's very much me as well um you can see it's got kind of the scandy style it's got the french style um it's kind of got like the more sort of don't know modern stuff with the brass and stuff we'll see kind of as you go along you'll kind of notice that but yeah anyway so then we have this big mirror which i actually got on gumtree and it used to be silver but i painted it gray um i did this ages ago so i can't remember the color gray but yeah i love it it's such a nice big mirror it's just brilliant and i think it works really really well with like the french of the chair as well because it's quite ornate um, and then I just have two little sort of trinkets here. So I've got this gemstony thing, which is from HomeSense. And then this is a bookend, but I just quite liked how it looked there. Um, and then as we come over here, I have this mirror, which I picked up from an antiques fair. Um, really, really nice kind of like brass mirror. Got lovely detailing on it too. Really, really happy with that. Um, and then we just have a coaster, which is from Anthropology. Again, this kind of goes in with the Scandi, kind of the wicker and the wood and stuff. And you'll see I have a matching kind of chair for that kind of theme. Um, and then over here, I just have a picture of me and Sam when we were on our road trip. And then this is the famous IKEA Alex drawers that everybody has, um, but they're just brilliant for storage. I keep like sort of everyday stuff in here. I keep new bits that I want to try out in here. And yeah, I mean, we're not going to go through the whole thing, but yeah, I have just have them next to there. Ideally, it would be better if they stopped there in line, but do you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, so that's just how we're going right now. And I'm just going to talk about the floor quickly because I did a lot of floor prep and like videos and stuff, so you guys are probably sort of wondering how it all turned out. So as you can see, we have painted the floorboards white all the way all over the room um i've got this big old rug down from zara home i love this rug but it does pick up everything you can probably see the little black kind of speckles on it just from like off your socks and stuff like that and it's really really hard to hoover but other than that i really do like it um, and i think it was perfect for the room because it did need something to soften it with the kind of wood it was a little bit cold so yeah it's brilliant to have that now this is what i'm talking about when i'm saying that it's not totally finished so as you can see i had the skirting boards painted gray so this is lamp room gray it also matches the door if i just come out so i can show you you see so i had all of the woodwork in this lamp room gray um which I absolutely love. I love doing the woodwork in a different colour. I just think it looks so cool, a little bit different. But because obviously where we ripped up the carpet, there was quite a gap between the skirting board and the wood. So all I did was get this bit of beading and my joiner just fixed it onto the skirting board for me. So I'm going to paint that to match the skirting board. So that's in a grey colour too. So you won't see it and it'll just kind of just look like part of the skirting board. But yeah, so that is something I haven't done yet. And I wanted to do it now, but all the shops are closed and I haven't been able to buy um, the same colour paint. So yeah, that is one thing about the room that's not quite finished. Um, but yeah, so the colour on the woodwork is Lamp Room Grey by Farron Ball. And then the colour on the walls is All White by Farron Ball. And I just love the two colours together. I honestly am so, so happy with how it's turned out. If I just come into the light switch, so this is from Speedy Electrical. I love this. It's like a toggle light switch. Really satisfying <laughs> to turn on and off. So then if we just pan round over here, so as you can see, like I said before, I painted all of the woodwork in this lamp room grey and there was this cupboard here which already existed which I absolutely love. I just think it's the cutest thing, it's got such nice detailing, I love the kind of ledge at the top and obviously it provides great storage um, above the cupboard. Also, can we talk about this coving, how beautiful is that, that's all original, that was here um, before, so yeah, I really really love that. But anyway, yeah, so we have this cupboard which I painted in lamp room grey so it matches the skirting board, so it looks really really nice sort of where the skirting board joins. Um, um, I love this door handle as well, so nice. This was all here before. Um, and then in here, I house all of my shoes. 
Um, so it's a bit of a mess because I didn't really plan on actually opening this cupboard, but there we go, we're open. Um, but yeah, I keep it all in there. It's great storage, especially like for long boots down the bottom and everything like that. Another thing I do need to do is paint the inside of this door. So yeah, <laughs> let's just ignore that. Um, but yeah, so that is just an amazing storage space and I'm so, so happy with that. And then we come over here to the sort of main part of the room. Now, originally I didn't actually plan on having a desk in here or having my office in here at all. Um, I didn't really know where I was planning on putting my computer to be honest. Uh, and it kind of got to the point where I realized that I'd actually have to have it in here. Um, so I tried to work out the best way of having a dressing table and a computer. And originally I was gonna put just both of them there and not have this at all. But it ended up being too cluttered and it just looked busy and it just wasn't how I liked it. So. Over here we have my um, kind of like desk console table. It is actually a console table. It is from a place called Design Vintage and it used to be like a green color, um, but we sanded it down and we painted it white. Um, so yeah, that is that. We also cut some bits off the end to make it fit. I had a right difficulty trying to find a table that fitted this space and didn't come out too far because it's a really, really narrow alcove. If I can show you how narrow it is, it's like really, really narrow. So. Yeah, I found it quite hard to find something that fits. So in the end we had to kind of customize something. Um, but yeah, so we obviously have my MacBook on here. If I just go in here and show you got my MacBook, my keyboard, my mouse, I've got a little um, lamp, which is from HomeSense. Coaster again, same as the other one. And then this little desk organizer, which is from HomeSense. I've just got some pictures on there, some hand cream and some pens. Um, and then I have my diary here, which my mouse is on and then underneath so as you guys will probably remember from this video well you will remember because you just watched the video um but i had a bit of an issue with this chris and brian good old chris and brian <laughs> so um yeah i had a bit of a difficulty with that because the paint wasn't really covering it um and i didn't really know what to do about the situation sorry i'm just gonna put that rug out again there we go um and a few people suggested things like tiling it and stuff which i think i will do maybe eventually but i just haven't really had time for it and i've had so much on that it hasn't really been a priority so in the end i just decided to chuck a fluffy rug over the top which is so nice when i sit at my desk as well because i just like put my feet on there um and then a big basket here which i got from um, a local store near us and i've just filled this with a load of blankets because i love being wrapped up in blankets which is perfect and then I've just chucked the Dior tote bag over it too, because I think that looks really cool, but it also serves a purpose of hiding Brian and Chris. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then let's pan over to here. So this chair is from Cox and Cox, and as I said, it kind of makes the room a little bit more scandy. Um, I really, really love it. Don't know why there's a piece of tape on it. Let's remove that. Um, yeah, I really, really love it. It's a great chair. Um, obviously it's not perfect for like a desk chair. I know it's not really, you know, suitable in the sense that it's not great for my back and stuff, but it looks really good. So, you know, we'll just have to make do for now. I don't actually spend that long sitting at my computer. So, um, yeah. And then just over here, we just have this little kind of pretty corner that doesn't really serve a purpose. <laughs> so this mirror is from H&M Home. A couple candles, Soho Home Book. Um, and then some dried grass and stuff, which is from Etsy. Now, the reason I have this corner over here is because when I film my videos, this chair moves out of the way, and then this is what's in the background. Um, and so, yeah, I just want it to be like quite aesthetically pleasing. So, yeah, that is that one. And then, if we move up to here, these are my pride and joy. So, my shelves. <laughs> um, so, these shelves are from Etsy. Um, the shelf, the wooden shelf is from a company called Funky Chunk Furniture and then I got these brackets to go on there as well just because the shelves are quite long and I wanted them to be supported. So these brackets are like these brass brackets and they're also from Etsy so we'll link all of that down below. Um, and then the pieces on it, so if I just talk through it slowly. So the fake plant is from Cox and Cox, the kind of like half head candle thing is from H&M Home, the box is from Zara Home candle from H&M Home, um, bookends from TK Maxx, and then obviously some books, and then that vase is from Zara Home. As we go up there, we have my degree certificate, and we have um, that kind of like woman's bust, which is from a local store near me. The mirror is from uh, HomeSense. The kind of agate crystal thing is from River Island. And then I have a couple of frames, which are kind of from like random places, and the gold vase is from John Lewis. So yeah, I love, 
this little corner it's like just so satisfying to me it took me ages to dress them but i feel like i've got it right now and i'm just really really happy with it and then we have the main event so we have the wardrobes now these are ikea pax wardrobes um so i have a whole video on these so i'm not going to go into too much detail but i will link that video down below if you want to watch um so i'll just show you this one i'm probably not going to show you inside the other ones but these wardrobes are amazing they have a light in them so you can see everything got storage at the top there and then this is my new in rail which is why it hasn't got anything on it at the moment um, and this is where I do my hair so I have a little mirror in here so that I can do my hair um, as I showed you in the video this is where I have all my jewelry and then down here I have like sunglasses belts and everything like that and then as you can see this is all my hair equipment so I have a heat pad so that I can do it here I've got a plug there um, all my sort of like everyday bits that I use and everything so this is just amazing to keep it all tucked away out of the way um, and I just love these wardrobes I changed the knobs on them um, so these knobs are from John Lewis but yeah I just think it looks so good and then curtains so these curtains are from H&M Home they are so nice just a lovely kind of linen curtain and they're super long as well which was important in this room because um, the ceilings are really really high and then I swapped out this radiator and popped this one in, which is from Screwfix. Just a column radiator, nothing too exciting. I also painted the uh, windowsill in the grey, the same to match the skirting board and everything like that. Um, and then down here I have these kind of like brass valves. Um, I need to paint this pipe here in the lamp room grey to match the skirting board. This was a little fix we had to do because the electricians, oh no, the plumbers <laughs> messed this up. Um, but yeah, so that is that and then as we come up around here the light is going to go a bit funny but I just have this big mirror which doesn't really fit it does kind of block a bit of the light but we already had it from before and it's perfect for taking like outfit pictures and stuff because obviously you get the nice light coming in from the side so I've just left it like that I might find a sort of a more suitable one one day but for now it's absolutely fine um, and then these are the rest of the wardrobe so as you can see they kind of span quite a big space um but yeah they're just brilliant i have everything i could possibly need in them so much storage and it's just worked out so well again these are the same as the other one i showed you so it's the ikea pax wardrobes um, and then if we come up here i just have a light which is from west elm i don't want to go too high up because this needs fixing <laughs> but yeah the light is from west elm it just creates a really nice kind of soft glow i'll pop it on now so you can see so I have filament bulbs in there, so it just creates a really nice kind of warm glow on an evening, which I love. Really cosy when I'm working in here sort of late. And that is it. That is the finished room. Obviously I have my dressing gown hanging up on the back there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We uh, took a while getting here. But now we're here, I literally could not be happier. It just suits my taste so well and it suits a purpose really well as well. I work in here, I get ready in here, I film my videos in here. It's a room that I spend so much time in and I just feel so, so happy with it. So yeah. So now you've had a full tour of the room, um, I'm just gonna pop in the before clip so you can see what it looks like and then I'll put the after clip in as well. account which is at Ruby Holly home if you guys want to follow up to date with what, el what else is going on sort of around the house or whatever it is yeah you can follow me over on there so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video then please do like it and pop me a comment down below thanks so much guys and I'll see you in my next one bye